So welcome back guys, I've got some awesome news, or at least for me it's awesome, uh, let me know if you agree. The new range for epic battles is Rome and the ancient world, the Punic Wars to be specific. Uh, we've had the teasers come out from Warlord Games themselves, and so we're going to have the Carthaginians and their allies versus the Romans. Um, so this is really cool for me, uh, for the last year or so I've been wondering what the next ones are going to be. Um, was it going to be another black powder? Was it going to be Middle Ages? Was it going to be Ancients? And they've gone for the Ancients, which is awesome. Um, it's going to really allow, I think, them the opportunity to probably, depending on how it goes, expand out into uh, the wider area, potentially do Persians and Greeks and whatnot. But just looking at the miniatures, they look really cool. And the elephants, I mean, they look awesome. So I'm really excited by this. Uh, I mean, you obviously got a little Roman commander there, although I would have thought he looked slightly more like Hannibal rather than a Roman. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'm mistaken. But yeah, you've got uh, the Roman equites, the cavalry, you've got the legionaries in their blocks, or the maniples, uh, which look pretty cool. It seems like they've gone and put three ranks instead of the two that we're used to. Uh, which is quite cool, I guess, for when you're talking about sort of blocks of massed infantry. Um, although looking at the images, I'm not sure if that's the case for the Carthaginians and or the Celts or Celtic tribes. It might just just be the Romans, which yeah, I mean, looking on um, yeah, I think it's just the Romans, but that's quite an interesting move for them. But the sort of Celtic Iberian allies of Hannibal they look really pretty cool I think um, so that's going to give us a lot of options depending on um, what sort of battles we want and you'd be able to use those if you're doing sort of uh, Caesar's campaigns in Gaul so they have a lot of options there which is I think pretty awesome to be honest uh, I was hoping it was going to be this period uh, you've got lots of javelin and slingers you've got different cavalry units and those elephants the elephants look pretty wild um, I didn't realise that the Carthaginian elephants had the, um, can't think of the name, but the little castle on the back. I thought the Carthaginian elephants were more just one or two men sat on them, but interesting. Um, yeah. I think they, they look really awesome. Uh, the infantry for the Carthaginians again, and the personalities there. Lots of flavour and different options for us. Then you've got Numidians as well, and Phoenician cavalry. So, yeah, they've really done the whole everything that you need really for a Punic War, I guess. <clears throat> I was having a look online to see if I could find miniatures to 3D print, because uh, I was interested in doing this period anyway, and now I guess I don't need to, I'll just hold fire. Yeah, the only thing I would say about the Romans, perhaps they will bring some out later, is that um, historically you had the uh, Triarii, who were the elites, or the most veteran, uh, then it was the Principe and the and the Hastati, uh, who were like the most junior of the three. Uh, it doesn't seem like they've gone that way. It looks like they've just got one type of infantry, which possibly looked like the Triarii, although I'm not entirely sure. Um, so maybe there'll be some others that come out so that you can use the sort of the three layers that they did use. Um, or maybe they're just saying that they're all kind of built into the, the units. I'm not entirely sure. But I've always pretty interesting to see what they've come out with. I think I'm quite quite keen on that. I guess it shows the Romans being slightly more uh, densely formed than perhaps the, uh, the sort of the tribal units were. So, yeah. But no, overall, I am very happy with it. Let me know down below what, what your thoughts are. Do you think these miniatures look good? Do you think you'll be interested in getting into it? Um, I know I am for sure, but yeah, interested to know what you guys think. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm just getting captivated. Looking at the miniatures again. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, as I said, please leave some comments down below, and I'll see you next time.